myself an I insert. Um, so I am realizing that I have already hit midpoint in my book, but um, I knew that I had taped some pages together to make them a little bit sturdier. Um, but my point was, is that I've only done one, like eight, I think it was eight spreads on this side. So I'm realizing that if I'm gonna get like 30 spreads in here, which is clearly not gonna happen, I'm just gonna stop whenever I run out of pages, I need to start doing a lot more one-sided prompts, spreads, you know what I mean? Um, so like similarly, we this one's already up, so I, like this one was treats, you know, on this side, and this is foods, but then I did like a double page for this, you know, and these were double pages. Um, so yeah, I gotta stop doing the double pages. I gotta stop doing the double pages. So for today's prompts, like I said, I'm also going out of order and I'm writing my order over here. So probably in the end, it'll look way different than Hibba's, but I'm following it as a guide. So I am doing on this side, um, what is it? It was something that you miss. And I'm going to write about my late dog, Zoe. Uh, I lost her last year to just um, old age. I had her for 16 years. Um, it's gonna be hard to talk about her, but I have these two pictures that I've been ho holding on to. They were both four by six, so I cut them down. And I'm using this beautiful paper. And I like the diagonal here, so I'm gonna somehow use that. And at first I was thinking maybe I'll make like a little tuck pocket for it. And then I'm just kind of realizing, well, maybe if I just kind of maybe cut out this little flower and cut it, I'm going to like put it on here and then just have a flip. And then just right here in some alpha stamping, like I miss you up there. So that's going to be this side when we work through it. And then the other one I want to do on this side is your partner. Now these two papers are from the same paper pad. So I did that on purpose so that at least they would be um, cohesive. So this one is just a beautiful like peony on the back on the bottom right. So I thought that would go perfectly over here. I'll round the corners and put our picture over the lovely here. And since it's kind of already lined, um, again, I'll probably stamp out in a different alpha than I use over there, but like my partner. And then actually have maybe just handwritten journaling here. Because I don't think I have too much handwritten um, going on so far yet. And it's just a picture of me and Miguel at the fair. I love this photo of us. I have a, I have a lot of photos. But let's be honest, we're, I take selfies all the time of us. But this is just one that was also printed already. Because then I thought about using um, one of just him that I printed when we went to the game. This one. Um, but I just felt like these colors, this vibe didn't go with my like you know, florally stuff. So <laughs> I was like, hey, you know what? I have this way and I still love it and da 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 da. So that way when these are still here, uh, they'll complement each other with the cream tones and the pinks and the flowers. So let's get started. Okay, so these layouts come together quite easily. This is simple scrapbooking in a notebook, folks. Take some, you know, pointers from me um, to try not to make everything as elaborate as I do, but definitely just the importance of getting the stories down. So you saw me round the corners and add my adhesive to the right side of the paper. And then here I am doing the same for this one in which I don't have the corner line up directly with the corner of that diagonal, but I was okay with it. The only thing is, is that I told you how I wanted to make like a little tuck spot and cut it open so it was a little bit more of an interactive, uh, like, secret spot, and I totally forgot. Like, right there, I was just kind of like, oh, bummer, like what I just did, I already glued it down, and now I don't have, like, like that cut out part uh, of the flower on the page, but I make it work, it's okay. The thickers uh, for the I Miss You are, is an old black set. I think these are actually from Target. And I literally go through every single one of my liquid adhesive on my shelf. I have to like purge some things because they, like all of them, were all dried up or too crusty at the, at the nozzle to have anything come out. That I literally use Fabric Fusion right now because I could not find a working liquid glue on my desk. Like that's insane. Um, but that just also goes to show you I have too many options and therefore <laughs> the blood, the blood, the, the glue dries out. Um, so I do take the time to cut out one of the other florals from the page and use it as an embellishment on the top flap of the floral. Um, but I'll be honest, when you see the close-up shots, I do go in and add a few like coral 
cut out butterflies that I had in my stash just to add a little bit something something because I was like should I add more florals of course I was playing around with some Maggie Holmes ones and I said no let's just add some butterflies because I do call her my butterfly now that she's no longer with me and then the other page is simple and I haven't adhered the photo but I because I want to do the journaling first okay that will wrap up this layout right here or these two layouts I should say so I'm a little worried about how this will dry if you saw me use like three different kind of wet glues <laughs> I finally use fabric fusion which I probably shouldn't have at all um because it's warping the page a little bit but yeah, it's fine. Um, and then I cut out some extras from that piece that I cut off over here to add just some details because remember I told you that thought about cutting it out and then having it tuck under. I swear I went through all of the cutting and adhering the background paper that I just adhered it down without ever cutting it and I was like boop. So I just made do so I just added the detail on it so that it's a flip and then I will have journaling on this paper which matches here so I thought that was perfect to use as a tie-in and then I use these gold thin alphas. This is an old old Dear Lizzie collection. Um, I still have some and enough letters to make my partner and so I think I'll just hand write some of the journal here and have it organically kind of finish around here and I just haven't adhered the photo just because if I have more to say I want the ability to still make it a flip up right there um, but in general this will be here in the final photos after um, I journal so simple and like I said try to keep the layouts one per page because we got to make sure I get enough prompts in here um, because otherwise this book won't hold all the things about me so this fun this is really fun been doing this hope you've been enjoying this and um I'm gonna so until next time I hope you um if you're new here please subscribe if you are my regulars hello and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you on my next video